Oh, here's that guy. Joe. Uh, nice to meet you, man. Joe. Joe, nice to meet you. That is pretty clean. Obviously, there's no freaking metal hinges or anything in there. Carbon on the front. I mean, I don't know. Would you take 400 for one? I'm kind of firm at 500. Okay. If um, you want to take both of them, I'll give you a good deal. Yeah. So the deal was 500 and I, it's worth it. This guy's an awesome guy. So we're gonna take this thing back to the shop and tear into it. This has been one of those things that I, as much as every other RX-7 owner has always wondered, what is the deal with the carbon fiber doors? Well, door, right? This guy had two driver doors, that's it. Not a driver and a passenger. And the story goes that the uh, previous guy saw that that was all that was left at, on sale and bought two right doors. We're gonna put this on the three rotor, but you know where this is going. This is going on the four rotor. That's the point. The four, whole four rotor is gonna be carbon fiber. Why not save ourselves some work and get carbon fiber pieces to begin with? From what I'm told, I do not have a scale here, I don't believe in rating my fitness, is this is 22 pounds lighter than the stock door. What do we want? We, we, we already know what we want to see. We're just gonna do it. You already know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason to tell you that. What are we doing? Um, we're gonna analyze whether or not this door is lighter than the stock door. And as such, has less mass while closing and opening. And uh, general aesthetics, if the aesthetics of this door are better than uh, what Mazda made in stock. So that's, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's today's video. Uh, go ahead and tune in next week. And please remember to subscribe, like, and comment how much you like subscribing and commenting. From the heart, that came from the heart. <laughs> Just crush it. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't even, don't even, oh, oh. You guys want to see my uh, wiring progress? That's right, look at that. Yep, exactly. Hey guys, he's actually getting it done. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't changed the wiring, but it's all about perception. We are professional grade. We're gonna take off the front fender, which I'm pretty sure is separated from the bumper at the moment. There might be some Bondo making this a little bit difficult. Oh shit, we're gonna have to take off the bumper to take off the fender because there's a bolt on the front of the fender. This guy oh, just had like nine energy drinks. <laughs> that one's not 10 mil. I don't even want to put the little stickers on here because I'm not gonna look at them. Like be honest, dude, you're not gonna look at the stickers. Like it's a cool idea and that would work if it was like, hey Jared, grab me the blank. But I already am too confident in where I think it is. The stickers are to help you learn to not look at the stickers. Yeah, but that's just like the buttons on a keyboard. I don't need the QWERTY anymore and just know where it's at. You're just proving why you should use the stickers. <laughs> yeah, I did, I just gave you some good reason. <laughs> please, please be disconnectable. <laughs> that is, oh, there we go. There we go. All that worked just to get this one. There, there we go. No, not that way. Things do not want to work there with you right now. Yeah, today's, today's an odd day. It's all to get to the door jam. If I can, I'm gonna use the three quarter inch ratchet or whatever, because these are gonna be a bitch. Why? <sighs> Jared. We're gonna have to take them off the door, not the door frame, because the door, oh, they, the new ones didn't come with these. All right, so this is actually 12 millimeter, which is hilarious for the amount of pain that this is gonna cause me. We'll see what it does with normal hand tools first. Oh, yeah. Okay, so somebody's had this door off before. It's kind of terrifying <laughs> that my door is that loose. Oh my God. This isn't, this isn't manufactured. This is literally the first time I've ever done this. It's uh, mildly terrifying. I'm sure there's tons of stuff that you should probably do before this, but this is not Chris Fix's channel. This is a Rob Dom. We have to expect that when I open this, it's gonna wanna fall off. Huh. Wow, that is actually really heavy. You can feel it. Just hold, just real time feel this. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. This is not even close to the other door. We didn't go into this thinking, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna point that part out. Well, I guess, uh, Jared, hold on to that. I'm gonna go research. I'm gonna go Google this. This is actually super heavy. I can hear you bitching. Oh my God. That is so heavy. It is safe to say this is a very heavy part of the car. <laughs> that is beef.
beefy. I that know. is very beefy. Uh, honestly, like we thought it was gonna be beefy, but it's beefier than that. The car looks funny without a door. Does not that not look weird to you, bro? <laughs> that does look weird. <laughs> supposed to be setting up for a thumbnail for the video and look at this this thing I have to like set on itself this <laughs> this is nuts this thing can throw me around this is a joke one of the biggest things I'm worried about with these the four rotor is a m several hundred thousand dollar car I don't want a cheap carbon fiber solution honest to god I think that's Sabon the hood up there and save on that hood kind of sucks. It's a knockoff of the scoot hood, which I didn't know that at first. I'm not a huge fan of knockoffs. I am a huge fan of improving, but that hood wasn't really that good. See, the things that bother me are things like this, where this curve, see how there's like, it's not consistent. I'm being very particular, but you, you notice this from a distance. You will notice when it's like, oh, that curve actually doesn't line up perfectly. Oh. I'm hoping, 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 hoping that this is not the final fitment of the door. Let's test it. I'm gonna. Put these screws in. Not gonna lie though, the very first thing I can think of when I feel this is just shattering if somebody hits me on the driver's side door or if I roll a car or something like that. I mean, this car is already a death trap, so I'm not trying to make it worse. And I just got those G-Force uh, five-point harnesses. Not gonna help me if a car comes crashing into my side door. Look at the difference from here to here. It's a lot thicker on the top. If I was just gonna install this door in this car and I was gonna repaint this car, well, you can do Bondo and shit to the car to match the door. Because you, you can take a little bit of this material off of the clear coat, I'm not gonna lie, you guys, you guys that actually do body work know that that's insanity, but for you know, a fraction of the width or the thickness, you could. On the four rotor though, this and this are carbon fiber. So you either have to be like Kona Zeg and get it right, at least to the public, the first time with the molding and all that, <laughs> or I don't know, stack on like clear coat for layers. I, I don't know the correct solution for carbon fiber. This is one thing I don't like about the carbon fiber doors. It looks like booty. I'm not gonna be like, oh, you're cool. Like, that's, that's not a cool upgrade. <laughs> kind of like your hood on your CTSV. <laughs> I mean, you're doing the same thing. That's just a hood. This yeah. is just a door. Jared, this looks like a reverse R8. <laughs> <laughs> I am a huge fan of function and form following function. Like Glenn Bacon, my, Len's my friend. I, I don't know if I'm his friend, but Len's my friend. And he had that on his orange one or other colored ones. Some of those, you know, those guys that do true street cars. And honest to God, I'm just like, that looks like shit. Man, he's really not gonna be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you whoop my ass, both probably like street fight and like racing. In efforts to make this video a 10 minute video, we're gonna talk more about wasting your time on the video. <laughs> no, this is something that I've been wondering for a long time and Jared's gonna have to get it from a couple different angles. On a stock body, it doesn't have these waves, it doesn't have flat spots, it doesn't have any, unless you're a really bad body guy like me, but it has a nice, smooth, consistent surface. Again, I don't want people to go, oh, it looks cool, but I mean, it's carbon fiber, so we can let that pass. No, I want a car that when you look at a Kona Zeg, you look at it, you're like, wow, it looks amazing. This is like, oh, Rob's trying. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> There's a distinct difference between having carbon fiber and overlaying carbon fiber. This looks cool, right? But it, it's not the same. Like, I'm not trying to make it look like carbon fiber. I'm trying to use the carbon fiber. This isn't a replacement piece. It's a veneer. No joke, this does look good. I won't get, knock it there. But it's just kind of one of those things where it's like, I'm not trying to put carbon fiber on the car. I'm trying to use carbon fiber to lighten the vehicle. While you were in the uh, bathroom, <laughs> I found out, man, you love using carbon fiber for actual performance. Yeah, this is really a reduced weight now. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> it was a, a younger Rob, a more foolish Rob. <laughs> no, because everybody's like, dude, you need to murder it out, murder it out, dude. Is this real carbon fiber? No. No, it's not real carbon fiber. <laughs> it's even worse. It's even worse, Rob. No, I, I, didn't, I didn't sell my soul fully. Look at what? <laughs> you never noticed that? No. What? In all these years, you've never noticed. You've driven this car probably 20,000 miles. <laughs> wow. You yeah. only did it to one I only did it to one side because I didn't like it. So I was like, mm, let me think about it. And I, <laughs> I thought about it for four years. We are going to kind of speed this part up because it's kind of boring, but we're going to transplant pieces from here to there and see how it fits. Here we go. 
this has been Pioneer installed this actually kick-ass sound system in the car. Just disconnected the window. Wow, look at that paint job, dude. That's from the car before. Super compact motor. It really isn't as involved as I thought, you know? Once you knew what to do, once Jarrett looked it up online. All right, that wasn't difficult at all. Oh yeah, it's kind of neat. This is all mechanical. One's a door handle, the other one's a lock. You know, when you push down on the lock on RX-7 and you pull the handle back, all mechanical. This should be easy, right? I don't know where these go. Right somewhere over there. There we go. We do have the controls right here to unlock it, so we're just gonna go see what happens. Whoa, look at that. That's the, uh, the trim, the door itself. But you wanna see what's really deadly about this? This is just carbon fiber, so you can literally, okay. This might be sheet metal on the outside here. That's a reinforced bar right there. And granted, it's still thinner than what you'd expect, but with the curving and the shaping and the way that the impact would hit right here, this is certainly a lot stronger when it's connected straight from the door hinge to the lock. This door has carbon fiber. <laughs> it has carbon fiber. <laughs> it has nothing. So you're, you're actually dead. You are. Someone hits you. Well, the next best thing that you can hope for is that their car is wider than this. So when it packs you, the rest of the car hits these spots, but that's not how physics works. It's definitely gonna channel energy into your rib cage right there. Oh, that is still pretty damn heavy. Being realistic, yeah, the, the glass and the speaker and the door panel, all that stuff, the skin, that all adds up. But this is distinctly heavier, and I believe the 22 pound difference is very factual. This thing's like 80 pounds, but we're gonna put all of those pieces onto that one, so you can't count the 80 pounds of weight. We were gonna do a race car like the four rotor, there would be consideration for saying, screw the speakers, screw a lot of the functionality, and away we go. But the four rotor is also still supposed to be a street car. That's not supposed to be a race car. I don't know, we'll, we'll kind of balance this all out from here. The one thing that I do know, this door skin will not work on the four rotor. We're gonna have to go with something more flat, something more custom, very tasteful. Keeping most of the RX-7 pieces, door handles and whatnot, but removing the fat out of back here because my seat will not fit. We're doing a quick side note on this. For those of you that are actually interested in buying this door, there is a lot of modification needed. This is far from perfect. There's a metal bracket that holds the window in. It doesn't fit right. You've got all this excess material and, and crap here that needs to be trimmed. This doesn't even have a place. The edge, this little groove that's supposed to be used to set this in doesn't exist. It's just a little bump on here. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to like <laughs> glue it or something because double-sided tape is not gonna hold from the amount of usage going from here to here. So this is fucked. This piece is supposed to hang in right there, but as soon as you start pressing in, you can hear it cracking. This is supposed to lock up behind here and that's too wide. This is too narrow. This is all sort of messed. So be prepared for things like this. All right, several hours have passed. A lot of fine tuning has happened. And overall, I would give this about an 80%. This door uh, is very functional. It is so clearly aftermarket that it is pretty obvious. You know, you're not gonna go win award shows of this. There's pieces that just straight up aren't cut properly. This whole thing is so flimsy that when you close it, you have to give it extra force, it starts to bow out like this. And the only thing that's gonna keep this from coming out is your window going up. So is it passable? I mean, it looks pretty sick from 10 feet away. Is it light? Oh, hell yeah. Is it something I would use in the four rotor? Could I do better? No. But could I use it for that car? Absolutely. Just makes this car a little bit more of a death trap.